everyone, it's Dan. I am uh, sitting here and sending you greetings from Memphis, Tennessee, uh, where I'm gonna get this barbecue on and it's gonna be delicious. Uh, I'm actually traveling to see friends and family uh, up in Virginia, but first I decided to go to Memphis to have this barbecue because I wanted to do this and I knew it was out of my way, but it's gonna be worth it. Um, but it made me think of the a uh, parable that Jesus spoke of that we see in Matthew chapter 13, verse 44, that reads um, in a paraphrase as follows, um, that the kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in a field, um, that when a man found it, he hid it, and then with great joy, he, he went out and so, uh, sold everything so that he could go and buy it. Um, and then he later talks about the, the comparison of the kingdom of heaven, um, and how we we are inheriting something that is so great, but we have to give everything up first. And how much do we see that in our current situation? And just even prior to COVID, our, our daily lives, where we have to surrender so much to receive so much more um, in return. And I realized something in this passage, that this guy had to sell everything, which means that, there, that everything that he had um, was not anywhere close to the value um, by itself and we we try to find that in our, our daily lives to try to find value in the things that we have and um, He says that he got he, he gave great joy or he had great joy and selling all that he had um, And so I made me think of all the things that I have that is not uh, anywhere in com like comparable to the joy that uh, is in having that treasure that when when I decide to to sell that or to give that up, that I receive so much more in return. And I'm so grateful for that. And I pray that uh, when we uh, give up, whether it be our plans, when we give up our, our hopes and dreams, um, even though they may be good uh, inherently, that God has so much more planned, even if it means uh, fulfilling those dreams uh, in a way that is unconventional or uh, is not even comparable to um, the faith that he wants us to have, whatever it may look like, God is really trying to give us that treasure. And I want us to, to practically think about what it means to surrender uh, our lives, surrender our days, surrender maybe our time, so that we have those things. Um, for me, it's surrendering time and getting into the Word, surrendering time in prayer, surrendering um, my time to have the things that I didn't think I could have like surrendering time, an hour to wait for these ribs because otherwise I could have gone somewhere else and it could have been terrible because I didn't go to the place that had great value as far as ribs are concerned. So maybe for you, it's, or really any of, any one of us, it's, uh, it has to do with the finances, right? And thinking about, you know, what do we have to surrender so we can have things that are going to provide for our families or allowing God to, to move in ways that that we didn't know whether it be uh, finding a new job or find or seeking even more favor in the current job that you have uh, whatever that might look like I know that this is a very difficult season to give up more but it's it's interesting that when the the man in this parable uh, sold everything he had it said he did it with great joy if you look at that if you think about that the reality is when he sold everything, he had to account for all the things that he had. And he did so with great joy, knowing that it's not of any value in comparison to the treasure in the field. And I pray that we look at our lives the same way, that we have things that are of, of value, but are not the greatest value. And that God has the greatest value uh, for us, that when we surrender our lives, we surrender everything that you can possibly imagine under the Lordship of Jesus Christ, that we can have so much more. And that gives me great joy to do so. Uh, and it is hard sometimes, but it's true. And every time that I decide to do it uh, on my, in my daily life, and practically speaking, I reap the reward of that uh, because he so desires to give that uh, treasure to us and wants us to do that daily. And so I pray that we can we can think about that daily and we can... Um, we can um, practically look at how we can sacrifice uh, um, or really lay down our lives for the sake of for the sake of uh, eternal life um, not the same way that I'm waiting for these ribs but God I, I pray that um, that we are able to sacrifice everything for the sake of your kingdom that we are able to lay down our things 
uh, and find joy in giving those up for what you have for us. And I pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray that you're blessed and I pray that you're safe and healthy um, and that one day you too may have Memphis barbecue style ribs. Amen.